Hello everybody, Missy Dela Cruz here, host of Lincoln Live. So this is just an impromptu video. I want to let you guys know because you guys are all expecting an interview today at 4 o'clock with the Lincoln Community Preschool. And I'm probably butchering that name right now, but uh, we're just going to keep rolling. <laughs> so in any case, um, we will be live with that interview at 4 o'clock today. But right now, we are live with Anthony Bersaman. And Anthony has agreed to give us a little bit of time to give us an update on the Lincoln Fourth of July celebration. He is serving as the committee chair at this time. So uh, thank you, Anthony, for joining us. And why don't you go yeah. ahead and take it away? Thanks for having me. Hello, Lincoln. My name is Anthony Bursman, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you guys today. I am the chairman of the Lincoln Fourth of July committee, and we've been working hard behind the scenes to make the event happen for 2019. Can uh, I just stop you for one second? Sure. So, so wait a minute. So what you're saying is there's a committee that's behind this event that hosts thousands and thousands of people right. here at McBean Park. So are these volunteers? Are these, you know, right. are there city individuals? Like, tell yeah. me what that looks like. What's the structure of that? So the 4th of July committee is comprised of members of the community who are obviously very patriotic and who give up their their valuable time to try to make this event happen every single year. We have about eight core members that put in the work from July 5th the previous year. We work all year to make sure that all the fundraising efforts are in place, that uh, we have entertainment for you guys, that we partner with the very best pyrotechnic companies to give you the very best show every single year here at McBean Park. And um, the fireworks committee at this time really needs your help. To give you a little bit of background, uh, in 2018, we went to the city of Lincoln after we had over 10 or 15,000 people. I, I really couldn't tell you how many people were in the park. Wow. But we really had a lot of people last year with a, a committee of only about eight or 10 volunteers. So that ratio is pretty staggering. Right. We went to the city of Lincoln, we said, hey guys, we really need your help. What can we do to ensure the safety of everybody who attends this event? How can we make this event a success moving forward? And how can we recruit more volunteers? We need some help. The city of Lincoln came back, city staff said, hey, you know, we're more than willing to help you guys out. And this is essentially what we need from you in order for the event to move forward. So they set out some param parameters for us in regards to the number of volunteers, uh, security staff, possibly a traffic control plan, because if you've ever been to the event, you know that after the fireworks show, trying to get out of this parking lot and out of this area, downtown Lincoln, is pretty crazy and pretty hectic and downright dangerous at times. So we've been working hard to try to address those concerns so that not only is it a very successful and amazing event, but also a very safe event as well. So what we're asking Lincoln to do is to sign up for a variety of volunteer positions. We've got several um, that you can find through our website, and our website is lincolnca4thofjuly.com. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll find a Sign Up Genius link where you can sign up for different time slots for different positions that we have on the 4th of July. The city of Lincoln has basically said, we will support you in this event. Uh, the city is obviously very patriotic and we, we love partnering with them because they help us out on a variety of different levels. Um, but they have said, hey, we need you to meet these parameters, including having enough volunteers in order for us to sign off on the event permit and have the event move forward. So a couple questions. So, um, because I know there's been a lot of back and forth, you mm -hmm. know, initially uh, everything was going as planned and then um, a couple months ago, the, the city stepped in and said no, no to the fireworks for these very reasons right. that you're addressing now. Uh, and then it looks like now it's there's the possibility that the fireworks will in fact continue and that there right. will be the entertainment and the the different activities that are offered throughout the day here at the park right. however 
again, one of the main parameters is having enough volunteers. And Correct. you said there's only two, there, so you can sign up for a two hour shift? Absolutely, yes, we'll take uh, all the volunteers that we can get, whether it's two hours or all day long, it's really up to you. We prefer folks that are over 18 years of, of age, um, if possible, but if you're under 18, uh, maybe you're a responsible teenager, you're welcome to come and volunteer uh, if you're with your parents, for example. It's a great opportunity for families to serve your community while having some family bonding time. So, yeah. so uh, I have a good example of that. It's been, uh, gosh, it's been probably four or five years ago, but you know, I, my family and I enjoyed this event every year. And so that year I was on the committee. Um, and again, it's been a while. So uh, after the event, my children and I and my husband, we stayed and helped clean up the park. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, mm -hmm. it took us about an hour. It's funny because Mike Hobson had made the, right. the comment. He said, you know, we were able to, to cut the time down significantly mm -hmm. because, you know, I have like 20 children. So there you go. <laughs> But, yeah. you know, we're, we were just having a blast. We were just, you know, having fun with it. Mm -hmm. And the kids love the, you know, giving back and serving the community. Right. And really it instills something in your children where they, they have opportunities mm -hmm. to help and give back. And, you know, you're, you're really shaping your children to be very conscientious of what goes into, number one, planning an event like this. And number two, being a part of it, not right. just a spectator. Absolutely. Yeah, my, my kids are with me every 4th of July. They love helping out. They love collecting donations. And like you said, it's really instilling in them that they have a responsibility to serve their communities as we feel that we have responsibilities to serve our communities. Because at some point, uh, the younger generation, our kids will probably take this event over and start all the planning uh, when we've moved on. So it's really important to get them involved early so they can get that exposure and uh, feel that sense of community and, and giving back. And I love that because that it's right. I mean, I see your girls everywhere and mm -hmm. they are just the most darling little things and you are everywhere. So, you know, I, I appreciate that servant heart in you and I see that come through in your family. It's just awesome. Likewise. Thank you. So I, you know, this is very interactive and I know that, you know, everybody is just, you know, tuning in and they get to see an additional episode of Lincoln Live that wasn't necessarily promoted, but I do want to give the audience opportunity to ask questions, make comments. How long do you, um, how, what time do you start and what time do you end? So as far as the day, uh, the day's events are concerned, after the morning parade, uh, which starts early, people start f kind of filing into the park and, and scoping out their spots and setting up their tents and picnic blankets and what have you. Um, but officially, uh, we usually start, the vendors start setting up around 12 noon and the kids zone usually starts around three o'clock. So uh, early afternoon is when people start filing into the park and we're getting all the vendors all set up. But um, Three o'clock is usually when people really start kind of filing in. And depending on the temperature, like last year, for example, it was very mild. So people tended to uh, come to the park earlier just because it was so comfortable outside. But if it's, you know, in the triple digits and, and really uncomfortably hot, then people will wait till the sun goes down to really start filing into the park. And then this is all a donation and volunteer basis, right? The city doesn't put any funds into the fireworks? Uh, that's partially true. So historically, the city of Lincoln really takes care of um, the police and fire costs, uh, which are pretty substantial because it, it is a holiday and they're you know making that that extra money. So that equates to usually in the in the neighborhood of seven to twelve thousand dollars that the city of Lincoln um, basically. Uh, contributes towards and that's a huge a huge uh, benefit to us because it really saves on a, a lot of the overhead otherwise we'd be paying that out of our pockets through donations but um, to give you a little bit more uh, specifics in regards to how much the fireworks actually cost it costs about a thousand dollars a minute for the show, which equates to about $18,000 because it's about between 18 and 19 minutes. 
So that's the biggest part of our fundraising efforts go towards the actual fireworks show. Other costs included are the porta potties, uh, the sound, the generators, things like that, that are um, not as big of a cost, but it certainly adds up. Hmm. And uh, at the end of the day, we're, we're looking at between thirty-five and forty thousand dollars for all the costs associated with the event. But yeah, as, as far as uh, our fundraising efforts, uh, we haven't kicked it off yet, but we have plenty of sponsors that are lined up. And if you're interested in becoming a sponsor, please visit our website, lincolnca4thofjuly.com. Um, you can scroll down and you'll find a, a vendor's application link where you can download the application, fill it out. We're not accepting vendor applications yet, but uh, keep a lookout on our Facebook page and on our website for additional instructions. And when we start, we're going to start uh, accepting those. Well, Anthony, you know, thank you for everything that you do year over year. I, I've seen you. You've been a big part of this committee for a long time. And and I wish I could think of everybody's name that's on the <laughs> committee right now. Yeah. Uh, because it, it really it's the same faces year year after year. And the truth is, you know, it's that's really what keeps our community running is is the folks that are willing to sacrifice their time. I know you guys were meeting, what, 9 a.m. on Saturday morning? Is that right. still the schedule um, so it's very difficult because we're all volunteers and mm -hmm. everybody has a family and a 95 usually and um, so it's it isn't always the easiest thing to meet but we make it work um, we usually meet during the the weekends um, usually on Sundays uh, we'll meet at house of pizza and um, try to hash this thing out but um, big shout out to all the committee members who have really spearheaded this effort and trying to make this event happen. Um, although we've encountered a number of, of uh, obstacles, we're still very optimistic and know that we can make it happen in 2019. So yeah, so if you're watching and you enjoy the show, which I'm sure pretty much everybody who's watching or will watch the replay, you guys are all taking advantage of this event, spend time with your family, go somewhere local for this wonderful event that takes place every single year. So do what you can to give back. You know, you've got, um, again, you've got your uh, volunteer opportunities. You've got opportunities to help financially. So get involved. Go to the website. It is included in the show uh, headline. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. And I've also included the 4th of July website and the Sign Up Genius link in the comments. Perfect. So Great. Awesome. Comments for those. Excellent. So you've got all the information you need. Let's make it happen this year. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you back here at 4 o'clock today. Great. Thank you, guys.